The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Today we're gonna talk about uh, Chicago rapper Glock Boy Bobo was just arrested for uh, four, four separate armed robberies. Apparently, this guy did all of these armed robberies within an hour and a half apart, and then was arrested 30 minutes later after the last one. Let's jump straight into it. Well, apparently on September 12, 20, uh, 2024. At 3.08 p.m. in the West 47th Street, um, he was arrested. Apparently, at uh, approximately 1.07 a.m., um, the first victim was robbed, a 29-year-old man. At eight minutes later, at 1.15, another uh, individual was robbed. Um, it says a 39-year-old, also um, a 20-year-old was robbed. Then 25 minutes later after that, at 1.40, another individual was robbed, a 17-year-old male. Then um, close to an hour later at 2.34, um, the last victim was robbed, a 42-year-old. And then this guy was put in custody at 3.08. So from 1 o'clock in the morning to, to pretty much 2.30, he robbed four, four separate people. Well, he robbed four separate incidents. And then 30 minutes later, you was arrested, bro. That man, it, it, it was it was in your nature, bro, for you to get caught. First of all, bro, Glock Boy Bobo, man, I'm disappointed, man. I thought you was really out here getting to that rap money, man. Like, I really thought you was really out here getting it, man. But obviously, man, these rap dudes, man, they really ain't getting it like that, you know? But he just threw his life away, man. You're talking about this dude is already a convicted felon. He's been in prison already for weapons charges. So you think you got four, you got four separate armed robberies and you already a convicted felon uh, and you got a car, an armed carjacking. Yeah, I don't see dude getting nothing under a 20 ball, you know, especially by him being a convicted felon, you know, but this is the life that we starting to see nowadays. We starting to see that these shorties, man, they, they walling out of control, man. They think life is GTA. You know, they think that they can go out here and do whatever they want and there's no consequences or repercussions. That ain't the way that life go. You know, um, it's sad that, you know, he just threw his rap career away to try to go make a couple dollars. Because even if you think about it, even if you get successful and you would have got away with this, how much money did you really expect that you was about to get from targeting these people? Because it looked like just random people, a 17-year-old, 39-year-old. It looked like, bro, y'all just, tar just was targeting people, you know? I don't get it, man. You know, we live in today's society, man, to where it's like, we just, we, 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 we trying our hardest, man, to crash out at any type of rate. And that's crazy, man. We wake up every day and it's a rapper crashing out. It's a rapper getting arrested for a Rico and somebody losing their life every day, man, over ignorance, man. It's nothing in the world, man, that should make you feel like you got to go out there and, and, and rob four, 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 four different people, man. Come on, man. It's nothing in the world. It don't matter how bad you want the new Jordans, a chain, a watch, whatever the case may be, man. But a lot of these shorties out here, they out here wilding like that because they ain't got no education. They addicted to all these drugs. They ain't got no type of self-control. So what else you going to do? You got a felony on your record and you um and you ain't got no type of education. What else you going to do? You going to rob, more than likely rob, trap, one of those things in the streets, you know? But it's just sad, man, because there's too many young black brothers, man, that's going down this path, man. You know, um, it, it's, 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 it's sad, man. But at the end of the day, you do the crime, you got to go do the time, man. So a, as much as I was banking on Glock Boy Bobo when he got out of prison, man, to fly straight and really take this rap junk serious. You know, this guy had labels offering him a couple hundred thousand. You know, he could have really made millions of dollars in this rap game. But ultimately, he wanted to crash out in Chicago and rob people and... You see, it didn't go well. You know, he started off robbing people at one o'clock in the morning. By three o'clock that same 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 morning, he was caught. So what that tell you, man? It was inevitable for you to get caught, bro. But it's your boy D's Media signing out, man. But for all the Glock Boy Bobo fans, man, his career is over with, man. Because by him being a convicted felon and having four armed robberies in the same night, I don't see how dude gonna get out. And he definitely ain't gonna get no bomb. But it's your boy D's Media signing out. Peace, positivity, network, growth, man. Let's save these kids. We tore these communities down. Let's build them back up, man. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much, man, for tuning in.
the D, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media, you feel me? <laughs>